but it won't go into off-road mode right now at a stop. Ignition on, TCS disabled. What's going on everybody? Chase on two wheels here and behind me I have my Ibex 800T from CF Moto. You guys know I've been putting a ton, a literal ton of miles on this motorcycle, but today I'm doing off-road and before I do that, you guys should not absolutely ride off-road with this motorcycle unless you have this one mod. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about it. It's gonna be a fun video and hopefully the bike doesn't get dropped today. Ah, more than once. Oh no. Uh, so guys, before we go on this big adventure, I do want to give you guys a little walkthrough of all of the aftermarket off-road specific accessories I have on this bike. And I'm going to tell you guys the one that you absolutely have to have. I'm not going to make you watch the whole damn video. We'll talk about it here in a second. So let's take a walkthrough of this motorcycle and all the protection that we have on it. Okay, so first up, you guys have seen me install these headlight guards. If a rock comes up and hits your headlight, that thing is super expensive. We got headlight guards here. And similarly, we have the fog light guards. Both of those are made by CF Moto. Now, this is an ADV bike. We are gonna be doing off-road, but we are gonna be doing a little bit of on-road to get to the off-road segments. For that added protection, SW Motec sent out their axle sliders. We got the one here in the front. It just goes through that front axle, as you can see. Got a little SW Motec logo. And then here on the back, you can also see that rear axle slider. I almost always have sliders like that on street motorcycles, but since this bike is meant to be like a 50-50, I figure more protection, more better. Next up, you won't really get to see it very well, but we have these additional uh, engine guards that CF Moto makes for this motorcycle. And as you guys can see, we have the little Lone Rider pack. Um, we do have Lone Rider stuff all over this bike. And the reason for that is I don't have anything in these other than a little pieces of medical stuff and a tire kit. Do you see how this bag is gonna act as a little cushion if the bike goes over? And with it filled with air and it's sealed, it'll act like it's a little pillow if the bike goes over, hopefully. Haven't sent it over yet with these bags yet, but we're hoping. All right, next up is one of my favorite mods for this bike and it's these SW Motec hand guards. One, I think they look awesome. They've got a really cool shape, but they basically really reinforce this whole bar that comes across. That way your hands and your levers are gonna be way more protected if you go over. This is not gonna let anything happen to that precious lever. Speaking of going over, I also had to get, this is one of the modifications that you have to get, double take mirrors. These things are super simple, but they work way too well. You guys are uh, probably familiar with like these little ball mounts. Double take uses the same situation. They put your mirror on a ball mount at the top and a ball mount down here, and they just have this little ram arm. And as you guys can see, they're slightly adjustable. Now you're probably asking yourself, Chase, if they're that adjustable, they're not gonna stay in place. You're wrong. I rode this thing across the country. Those things did not move. But in the case where something happens and I go over, boop, that's all it does. Now my mirror is not broken if I go down on this motorcycle. If you guys can see, the whole motif is protect it if it goes down. Hopefully you don't go down, but if and when, you've got stuff that's going to be able to handle you and help you not be totally effed. Here in the back, not really uh, important for this video, but this is SW Motex uh, tail bag that is absolutely fantastic. I'm just using it for all my camera gear because I don't want my camera gear to be on the sides because again, if Chase goes down, cameras get smooshed. I wanna make videos for you guys. I can't do that with a smooshed camera. Uh, those are all the important things, but there is one most important like that the title of the video do not ride literally do not ride an ibex 800t off-road unless you have this thing and it is a set of off-road tires here we have dunlop's trail max emissions so dunlop was cool enough to send not only me but pat behind me and Bo 
all a set of their Trail Max missions because they are arguably the best ADV tire you can get. They are high mileage, they're great for 50-50, so they're actually really good on road, but they can handle you off-road. Guys, there's one thing I've learned while doing all of this ADV stuff, and it's the same thing, like, everybody tells me the same thing. Your bike is important, your tires are incredibly important. So, I would not feel comfortable on this motorcycle or any motorcycle if I didn't have a good set of tires. And from what I've looked at online and what you guys have recommended me get, the Trail Max missions are the best thing. So, huge shout out to Dunlop for not only hooking me up, but hooking the boys up. Look at Pat. Look at Pat out there doing a little test. Patrick's on a damn super T and he is just killing it out here. So guys, as you can tell, tires are super important. <laughs> You're nuts. That is why today I'm gonna feel comfortable enough to go off-road with my Ibex and the, today will be my first day going off-road. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I have these tires and I feel confident in it. So we gotta go, there's a class coming, uh, but stick around and we're gonna go see what these tires do off-road. Now, I gotta be 100% honest with you guys, I have no idea where we're going. I know that where we're going is five hours worth of riding. It's half on-road, half off-road. If you guys don't know, we're at ADV Fest uh, in Sturgis, Buffalo Chip. Having an awesome time, but today's the first day off-road. Bo, quick summation, you have an idea of where we're going today. What can we look forward to in today's video? They have a really cool route. Uh, it's like a welcome to Wyoming route. It's pretty easy. It's half off-road, off half on-road. Pause. All the routes are built by Rever. Yep. Uh, obviously, Revzilla owns Rever and they work on all these cool routes. So they've customized all these awesome routes for us to get to ride today. We're actually riding with a couple of the Revzilla guys. And, uh, apparently, there's a really cool waterfall spot. And then, for you, bud, the last half of it is a really nice, twisty, fun road section in Spearfish. We, oh, we should all be happy today. Even if I toast it, at least I get curvy roads. I'm excited to see a waterfall. Will we get to the waterfall? Will Chase enjoy the twisty roads? How will the Ibex do off-road? That is what today's video is Adventure all about. Adventure We're bros. doing it! <laughs> We're finally doing it. This is how they slept last night. <laughs> That's how they slept last night. <laughs> gentlemen just got done uh, with our first little off-road segment ibex did great uh, i did forget to turn my abs off but everything was fine so <laughs> those tires are fantastic bikes doing good so far So guys, uh, we are totally done with the dirt for the day. As you can freaking tell, it's still coming off of me. We just had lunch at Codoba? Is that what that is? Codoba. Codoba. So now we are headed down roads to a waterfall, which should be super cool. So far, these tires have been fantastic. Now, I want to give a shout out to Pat, not our Pat, but Revzilla Pat. He's been leading us through this dirt stuff at a much faster pace than I would be going, Bo would be going, so it's been very interesting to be in a position where I'm going faster than I really feel comfortable, but the one thing it has shown me is that that bike is way more capable of doing the this kind of stuff than I currently am. 
very far outside of my comfort zone today. But it's awesome. We're embracing that. It's great. All right, I'm going to get some gear on and we're going to get back on the road. Uh, so far, so awesome. Let's keep going. So guys, we've currently uh, ditched our waterfall plans because Bo's bike is doing that same thing it did when we tried to go to Dawsonville when I was on the Desert X. Why? Are you f***ing kidding me right now? <laughs> uh, you want to run people through what's happening? Alright. Ignition... On. 14 minutes later. TCS disabled. So that's what comes up. TCS disabled and then what? And then that, forever. Uh, it could be a throttle body sensor. I mean, that's most likely what it is. It thinks the throttle's wide open. Uh, if you guys are curious, uh, the bike was super dusty, kind of like my Ibex is right now, so we brought it to one of these like hand car washes to just kind of like rinse it off to see if, at this point, we're trying everything. Uh, we are kind of lucky in the fact that we brought the truck and trailer to this event, so Patrick has abandoned us to go get the truck and the trailer and bring it here. So worst case scenario, we're just gonna load the bike up um, and we'll keep it going. I did bring a couple of bikinis if we want to put those on for the coverage. We don't ask questions, all right? You just got off the phone with Triumph. Patrick just got here. What's the quick update for you before I tell these people about these tires? Probably a hose throttle body, which is not a, hey, we can get it fixed. <laughs> right. I'm going to have the Triumph guys look at it. So you guys stay tuned on the next episode of ADV Bows here from 2023 Adventure Fe or ADV Fest. We'll, we'll give them an update at what happens. But right now, uh, I've got my bike here. Everything's working fine on it. We're going to get your bike pushed into the trailer. All right, Patrick's over here. So we just got to push it across the street and it'll go straight into that trailer. Or if you want to take your stuff across, I'll start pushing it um, and get it at least out of here. This is one of those situations where we really lucked out having a truck and trailer. Will you watch for cars that way? I'm going to use the momentum of the ground. All right, we made it. I'm going to stop here so that you can use the angle to get it finished up. I'm going to go grab the Ibex and I'll be right back over here. Well, we're certainly on an adventure, ladies and gentlemen. There's no doubt about that. Alrighty, now that we've got Bo's Triumph getting handled, let's get on the road. Let's head back to Buffalo Chip and let's talk about these tires and what just happened on them. And by what just happened, I mean all the things you guys just saw. Alright, so I'm abandoning you guys. I made it across the country. I should be able to make it 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, guys, you drive safe. Bye. Alrighty, guys. Now the tiger is taken care of. And uh, just to be clear, yes, this is totally the same day that we recorded yesterday. And that is definitely Bo's bike. There's nothing about me that is... No, everything is about me the same. Can you impose a winky face on me right now? Hi guys, we definitely did not forget to talk about the Trail Max missions yesterday. Bo's bike is totally fine. It... Okay, we're gonna go. No, this is the same bike. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, we modified it last night, Pat, remember? We, we installed the uh, Rally mod. No, the Pro mod. Oh, the Pro mod, sorry, sorry. You already forgot. It was just last night. <laughs> all right, boys. Yesterday, we rode all freaking day on these Dunlop Trail Max missions. So I was on my Ibex 800T, Pat on his Super Tenere, Bo was on his Tiger 900. Yesterday was me and Pat's first day on the Trail Max missions. Uh, Pat, what did you think about them? You needed a set of tires badly, and you got them. So how do you feel now with the Trail Max mission? I really liked them. The, uh, my biggest kind of thing 
love about them is the how the blocks are set up on the edges of the tires. So um, I like to get a little squirrely and sideways when I'm riding on gravel roads, and that extra bit of side bite is fantastic. Also, guys, side note. Pat is by far the best of us riding off-road. That man slayed the video we filmed today. You guys are gonna have to wait for that video, but he did an amazing job. So anything he says about those tires, you can trust his opinion, and you'll see why in a later video. I've been working in and around the industry long enough, and I've been riding off-road long enough to know a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else about the tires that you noticed, Pat, while we rode yesterday? It's close to a 50-50 tire, maybe 60-40, depending on who you talk to. Um, they buzz a little bit on the freeway. It's not really all that bad. I got up to 90 on the freeway and it wasn't like wishy-washy. It was very stable still, which was great. You know, I'm overall very, very happy with this tire choice. Um, yeah, especially for these big adventure bikes. I don't I don't know if we could have picked a better tire for this trip. So, Bo, you had your Tiger 900 ra your rally. You yes. had those tires on that bike previous to the brand new set we put on for ADV Fest, right? What what are some of the highlights? Well, first and foremost is how surprisingly compliant on road they are. Um, and then juxtaposition that between how well they do for most off-roading that we'll do. I mean, we're not like single tracking yet. We're not like mud crawling. For most of the stuff that I've, I've been doing for the last year, there's not much that it hasn't been able to take. But then to also get fantastic road behavior out of them. Uh, they're great in the rain. I mean, I've ridden in the rain plenty of times over the last year, and uh, the mileage, so the ones that I replaced them with, the brand new ones, went on when my tires had about 15,000 miles on them, and I still had several thousand left in the rear, several thousand on the uh, on the front. High mileage, which for tires that can do okay at off-road, uh, there's only a couple of uh, brands going above like 8K. How did they wear? Like, was the, the ride super different on the new set versus the old set, or were they still really similar? So one thing that I did notice, the road noise got better the longer it wore. I will say they wore really great about at what you'd expect for a tire with, with any sort of lug on them. The middle did go first. The edges were still nice and crispy. Um, and I, I still had three, 4,000 left on the rear maybe 4,000 on the front. So. That's interesting that both of you guys bring out the road noise. I, this may be because when I have been riding around here lately, I've been just blasting my music. Um, but I haven't really noticed any road noise, so I'm gonna have to look for that as I continue to ride uh, with those tires. Awesome, do you guys have any uh, the last comments? Damn, that view. Pat, your camera's gonna get such a good view, holy shit. Um, I just wanna say one thing. Thank you so much, Dunlop because I was, not, I was not looking forward to having to buy another brand tire for that bike, and everywhere is out of these, these uh, trail mix. I wonder why. <laughs> Huge shout out to Dunlop for uh, shooting us those tires. <laughs> One of the cool things was like, I was like, Dunlop, we really like these tires. Supposedly everybody loves them, which every single person I talked to at ADV Fest was like, oh, you got the Trail Max missions. So like, clearly they're a popular tire. So you've got a guy that's put probably 20,000 miles on these things. You got a guy that really knows what he's doing and you got a brand new guy. And I don't think any of us are complaining about the tires. Nope, not at all. I mean, if you haven't noticed, I've been riding like a jack wagon. Um, right. Because I love it. <laughs> They're so good. I could basically flat track this bike. Oh man, it's been such a good time, guys. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. We are now going to cut to a chase that did a moto vlog also about the tires. So guys, I wanna preface what I'm about to say with, y'all know I am brand new to ADV riding. And because of that, I don't have a wide array of knowledge of other tires in the industry. But today I've been rocking out these Trail Max missions from Dunlop. My God, they are, for me, they are so confidence inspiring in an area that I just desperately need to be confident in. So guys, we've been riding uh, off-road all day today. We've put in multiple hours of off-road riding and I'll admit, I started the day uh, with a real lack of confidence. I've never taken this bike off-road. Today was my first day and I felt like we were 
we were holding a pretty solid pace through a lot of the stuff we were doing. The only parts that I've now realized towards the end of the day that I'm still a little cautious of is when I'm going downhill turns on curvy uh, or on gravelly roads. I still just don't have like a good feeling of confidence when it comes to that stuff. But I have to imagine that having this set of tires allowed me to get so comfortable with riding off-road today on the Ibex, even though it was my first day. You know, if you guys have followed the build, I have been kind of worried because I don't. It, this bike doesn't have traction control and it doesn't, like it has ABS, which I have a little yellow ABS uh, disabler that I installed, but I, I was really worried about a lack of traction control. And after spending today doing what we did and at the pace that we were doing, I'm not saying I'm some great off-road guy, but I mean, you guys look at the footage and tell me, do you think that was like a decent pace for my first time off-road with this bike? I feel like it most certainly was. And uh, the really cool thing was there was no, at no moment did I feel super sketched out, super worried. I just felt like, you know, the off-road, the bike's wiggling underneath you and everything, but it just felt great. And then, here's the crazy thing, though. On the way to all of that off-road stuff, we were doing some, like, pretty uh, twisty roads, and these brand new tires did such a good job there. I don't think I've ever pushed the Ibex, like, that far over, so... I don't even know what to think about these tires. We did a giant mix of stuff today and I have not been able to find what, you know, what situation they do not do good on. I was really surprised when we were pushing it earlier in the day. You know, you see, you hear 50-50 tire and you're like, yeah, but it's probably like, you know, leans towards one way, right? So when we were doing the road stuff earlier today, I was like, man, this bike is handling great. I love this. Uh, and I, I was worried because I thought the tires were too sporty and then we go to off-road and I'm like nope They're great and uh, maybe it was just because of the specific type of road conditions we had today I am such a big fan of these trail max missions. I'm so happy. I, I got in contact with Dunlop I could not be happier with a set of tires on my Ibex right now, uh, but guys I'll tell you something to wheels today was my first day off-road with my Ibex uh, 800T. You guys tune into our day two video, which we'll be we'll be filming tomorrow, and we'll update you guys on Bo's bike situation, and we'll go for another adventure. You guys make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like motorcycle content. I'm Chase on Twills. I'll see you on the next one. Alrighty, outro crew. Thank you for getting to the end of the video. If you got this far in the video, make sure to put OC in your comments. I know you're going to comment and leave a comment down below. You guys, let me know. Can you tell that I'm not on a GoPro right now? I'm on a secret camera that I may or may not have already reviewed, and it's that one. All right, let me know if you guys can tell in the comments down below, and uh, y'all ride safe. I'll see you in the next one. Later.